All right, so I've got a few amps here on the bench. So let's do uh, let's do some testing and see what they look like. Let's see what each one looks like on the oscilloscope. So <clears throat> I have a Sundown SFB8000. It's a full bridge amp. It's comparable to the Tower Amps um, MD series and the sound cubed u series as far as what it looks like on the uh the oscilloscope screen and we've got the tar amps it's also full bridge amp which you pay uh, 9k we've got digital designs dm 2500a couldn't find where the build house is on this amplifier um, ai on google says uh, it was uh built in the usa but i'm not too sure about that somebody can uh, elaborate on that and then i have a class a b it's a nvx nba 201 it's 200 by 2 at 4 ohm stereo uh, 350 by 2 at uh, 2 ohm stereo or 700 by 1 at 4 ohm bridged <clears throat> then we've got old school over here that's uh well, it speaks for itself. Fence Gold M25. So let's uh, pause the video and I'll get these set up one by one and we'll see what they look like unloaded on the screen. All right, first up, we've got the Fence Gold M25. You can see we've got it at 14.4 volts. Okay, 14.4 volts. So we're going to test all these amplifiers, 14.4. So I've got it uh, 40 hertz on the DD1 uh, track. And I'm going to set the gain. And you can see. You can see it go up as I turn the, the gain up. And right there is just in the clip. You can see it's, there's clipping, hard, hard clipping. So I'm going to turn it. Just before clipping. All right, that is totally clean. No distortion whatsoever. No clipping whatsoever. Nice, smooth, clean wave. We all know how clean uh, these amplifiers were and are. And that's what it looks like. That's what a clean amplifier looks like on the screen. Okay? M25. All right, let's pause this one and uh, put the next one up. All right, up next is the NVX Class AB. Is the NBA 201, and I failed to mention on the the M25. Uh, it was on the bridged channel, and this is also on a bridged channel. So again, 14.4 volts. And all I'm going to do is just turn the gain up. So I already got my screwdriver in there. Just again, it's on full range on a crossover. So let's see what this one looks like. 40 hertz. And you can see the amp will clip. <clears throat> no foolery around here and right there is absolutely clean absolutely clean power right class a b very very clean and this amplifier here sounds very very good all right so now let's uh pause the video and go to the next amplifier all right next up on the bench is this Digital Designs DM2500A. Now this is a Class D monoblock, 2500.1. <clears throat> and all I'm gonna do is adjust the gain. And that's it. So let's uh, unpause the track, 40 hertz. I'm gonna turn the gain up. As you can see, it's clean and it will clip. Let's 
So this is a, an example of a good, clean Class D amplifier. See, look at the signal. Look at the smooth wave on the screen. It's clean. All right, let's pause the video and put the next amp on the uh, on the bench. All right, next up, we have this Sundown Audio SFB8000. And again, we've got it on 14 volts. 14.4 volts. And I'm, all I want to do is adjust the third knob over, which is the, uh, the gain. And this one does have a uh, clip light. So we'll show you the uh, clip light as well on this one. Let me unpause the track, 40 hertz. Now, as you can see on the screen, it's clean. As you can see, the clip light is flashing, it's illuminating. The uh, clip light on most of the amplifiers that have a clip light, they, they start coming on prematurely. So now this one, and I misspoke before, this one is not, it is, I repeat, is not reacting just like the MD series tower amps or the SoundCube U1-8000 that I had. Uh, right there at the top and bottom of the sound waves, it would start coming up a bubble, like a big distortion type bubble uh, once it got close to the clip point. So this one is actually cleaner than the SoundCube U1-8000 or the Tower Amps MD-8000. <clears throat> All right, I was hoping that uh, I was remembering correctly and this one had that bubble, that distortion bubble on so I could show you how what distortion looks like on this oscilloscope. But unfortunately, I don't think I have any amplifiers here currently that uh, have that distortion on it. I'll check out a couple. Uh, but in the meantime, let's pause this video and we'll put that Tower Amps Chapeo 9K on here and show you what it looks like. Okay, <clears throat> so I was mistaken. I do have an amplifier that will show that distortion bubble uh before clipping so again we've got 14.4 volts and this one is the 3k version it's rated as a 6k or labeled as a 6k txp1 that uh, dot 6000d it's a 3000 watt amp and again i'm going to uh just adjust the gain right here the gain. All right, so 40 hertz. Pay attention to the screen. So as we come up, You'll see at the top and the bottom of the waveform, it'll start, see the distortion bubble? You see, that's the way that the Tower Amps MD series uh, act on the screen. And also the, um, the SoundCube U1-8000, the U series, um, is exactly how they, they acted. Now, you can see it's showing clipping right there. Let's turn it down just below clipping. Well, if I can get it on there. Yep, just below clipping. So, no clip light. 
flickering ever so slightly. And there's your distortion on the wave, the waveform. And then you can send it way in the clipping, and you can see the the line kind of split. See, so there's clipping on this style of amplifier, this style of uh, full bridge. All right, so you got to turn it down to get it clean. Just in the clipping, you're going to run into distortion before clipping. So when you see an amp dyno on these types of uh, amplifiers, I have noticed that on the certified test, you'll see the numbers when they when it goes up on the certified test, as the numbers are climbing up the wattage numbers, they will like stop and go, stop and go. That's because it's, it's detecting that distortion and it thinks that it's, uh, it's think, it thinks that it's trying to go into clipping, so it kind of bugs out the amp dyno. And of course, I don't have an amp dyno here to confirm all of that, but just with my observations and using the same amplifiers as it's being tested, then, uh, you know, that's the conclusion that I've come to. All right, so let's uh, pause this video and I'll put that Tower Amps Chapeo 9K on the, on the bench next. I just wanted to show you an amplifier that showed distortion on this uh, particular oscilloscope. All right, I'll be back. All right, <clears throat> there's this uh, Tolerant Chapeo 9K. It's a two ohm version. 14.4 volts. And one thing I do really like about these amplifiers is that's it. That's all it has. Just a game. Raw power amplifier. Nothing else to go wrong with the amplifier. It's just a raw power amplifier. Just like uh, most amps used to be back in the day. Like the uh, that Phoenix Gold M25. It, ju it just had a uh, amp gain, had a bass gain, and that's it. Uh, so I'm going to unpause the track. Yep, unpause the track and turn the gain up. And it gets uh, right there's right there is just that clipping. All right, so it's totally clean on the screen, as you can see. You can see the, uh, the clip light is flashing intermittently. Now, if I take it up just a hair, so the clip light comes on. Even more. Right. So there's the uh, waveform on the screen with the clip light on. So again, don't trust the clip light. They come on too soon. So now I'm going to turn the gain up a little bit more. And there's just in the clipping. Looks like we gained about 7 volts on, you know, on the screen. In the clipping, that's, yeah, that's about 10 volts higher. It was 163 right here. The volts are a mess, and it's just just barely clipping. That's where I would set this amplifier in a car. The people that's out there saying that tower amps are not clean, please. You know the, these Chapeo amps are clean. They're very clean. So are the uh, the smart amps and the big boss amps. Now the HD amps, they are very uh, dirty power. The MD amps, they they'll, they will show that bubble of distortion. But uh, the new amps, they're uh, they're spot on. All right, that's gonna be it for this one. See you next time.